Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel, my name is Natoji and today this is Who is Worth Your Gems on the first anniversary banner here, 9 heroes in Guardian Tales, but before to get started, don't forget you're gonna get 100 free summons and the production has not released yet any information about the next hero update and potentially a broken hero, so please feel free to keep some of your free summons. For today's ranking process here, this is for F2P and beginners or mid game players, so overall you have two class, the A tier, which is basically you need that, eh, those are not a priority to be honest with you, you can find some better counterpart, they are more of a niche unit, and after they have the S tier, which are the best support and DPS, who are worth your gems, and I will add up the S plus here, just it's my biased opinion and experience with some of those units, I believe they bring not only some strong individual skill, but also some very good team support across all the content. So here we get started with Lan. So she has an A minus. Doesn't mean she's a bad hero or whatever. But once again, if you're a beginner here in the game, she's just simply two of a niche unit. She has niche in arena for countering the light hero. She has a strong Shen skill DPS. She provides some partial heal to the team. But overall, she's a subpar kit. In terms of normal attacks, damage, it's pretty low and she's not an amazing healer. Next year is going to hurt my feeling because she was my very first tank. This is Marina with an A+. Plus. I was just a little bit to put her in her ass, but overall she's a valuable tank. We stuns 20% shield to the team and herself on the Shen skill. She has a very fast Shen skill activation in Arena. She's still very relevant on some map. She's, to me, she's very on top tier on some map, but in terms of tank, She's just outclassed by the likes of Future Princess and Ogma in most of the content use. Hence why she's with an A plus here. Next A plus, that hurts my feeling. This is my favorite unit in the game. This is Lupina here. So overall the production just gave her some buff, which is increase the speed of the wolves, which is not increasing the attack speed or the movement speed. This is different. And they gave her a little bit of defense, but this is not enough. So she's an excellent critical party buffer for midi damage, especially in the reds. She has an amazing long range and also some good crowd control in the story and on the co-op. When you have a lot of mobs on the map, she has a very large area of attack, which is pretty good. She can shoot through the walls, but overall she lacks the defense and the movement speed while she's attacking, which rank her down in Arena and Colosseum. And now let's bring the sugar baby. We are getting into the S tier type of hero. So those are worth every single of your gems. And I'm starting with Noxia, but I put the S minus. So she's an amazing unit in PvP. She's also very valuable in story. But please note she's not a tank. If you don't have a future princess, Ogma, a Marina, she won't replace those. But she has that unique spirit necro providing some nice self-sustain. But she's not optimal for the reds or the co-ops. She's more designed for the PvP climb. That's why here I put an S minus. Just because yeah, in reds and co-op, those are valuable rewards early on, so she should be a secondary choice, not a primary choice if you're a brand new beginner to the game. And now let's go into the natural born killer with Mayreal and a nice S. She's an excellent critical party buffer for any ranged team. She's amazing across all the content. Once again, PvP, Arena, Colosseum, Reds, Co-op, Storyline, she's just great. She's strong, DPS on the Shen skill. She has a high movement and attack speed on critical hit. This is a special ability, which is fantastic in terms of mobility. But to really unlock a full potential in terms of damage, you need Barry in the team because of the special ability. If Barry is inside of it, she can increase her damage output. If it was without Barry, I will put her with an S and a little plus here. But that's why she's a fantastic hero and she wears every gems if you need a critical buffer for your range team. Next, let's rock and roll with Android MK99. She's an amazing long range DPS here in the S ranking with high damage output on the regular attack. She can shoot through the walls, penetrate enemies. She's a fantastic hero for Arena, Colosseum especially, but also very good for your story, your co-op and the red, of course. She's a party range attacker. But finally, she does not provide any support to the team. She doesn't have any debuff 
for the boss she doesn't have for example any support skill for your team so she's pretty individual but she's worth every gem if you need a strong dps in your range team and now we are getting into my little bias, my S plus ranking. Those that I believe have a little edge over the others. And we start with Nari here. So to me, she's the best range attack party buffer. Once again, we just review MK99. She's very strong. But I mean, as a pillar, if I will need to choose in between both of them as a first range attacker i will pick nari because nari overall early on she provides some team support skills she's not only a strong dps on her own she can decrease the defense on the normal attack this is very consistent and very powerful to help all your team members to also increase their damage output and when you build a range team this is what you want you want to deal as much damage as you can and she can increase also the team critical hit chance by 10% on the chance kill which is very valuable once again for the range team you want to build up that stats critical each chance to try to deal as much damage as you can and finally she is really amazing across all the content as well there is not one space in between the arena colosseum reds the co-op or the story she's just amazing everywhere now to avoid frustrating my fellow MK99 owners, they both pair very well together. So if you want, you can pick MK99 on Nari, it's totally up to you. Next is Lilith with S and a little plus here. She is the most versatile melee attacker in the game. The meaning is to compare to the other melee attacker. They are all fantastic, by the way. Beth, Scientist Zoe, or if you want to go also for Lim, they are all fantastic individual DPS. But she brings some team support skills. For example, she can decrease once again the defense on the weapon skill. This is very powerful, not only for her, but for all the team to increase the damage output. And she can heal also 20% on the Shen skill, 20% of your allies HP on the Shen skill. That's very valuable. Now she has a unique weapon ability, which is amazing. She can consistently reduce 20% of the damage taken if you just wear the weapon. You don't need any activation. You don't need, this is not a special ability. This is a consistent buff and that makes her actually pretty good also against the light heroes. That helps her. So overall, she has an amazing extra DPS like any other media attacker once again. And finally, she is fantastic across all the content except not optimal in the Colosseum. Now she's not bad in the Colosseum. The, never let anyone telling you this for the simple reason is uh your boy tried her i did a few recording anyway i went to top 200 uh, in the hs <laughs> server 2 with a lilith scientist zoe future princess and ogma comp just for fun and i don't have the best merc in the game i'm not cracking waiting on the game so yeah, she's great, she's good, but of course, Noxia is a much better option for the Colosseum. Finally here, I wish I had enough space to add many more S++++++. <laughs> this is the absolute monster. This is a future princess. And if you are new to the game, this should be your priority pool just right now. If you want to have the best tank in the game, the most versatile hero in the game, She's a must just to ease your overall progression. Now, you can do with that future princess. There are other great tanks like Ogma or even Marina if you want to, but she just provides such a high survivability with a skill to any team. She's a pillar, she's a cornerstone. And also for PvP, she just needs one weapon skill to Shen skill people, which is unique once again. Overall, she's not optimal for the Reds, but here she will help still if you start on the game. You first want to climb your story. You first want also to compete a little bit in PvP. And once you are Future Princess, she's the best tank in the game. And the tank is such a crucial position. And I hope they can release much more. Hopefully, a Usbando tank for the first anniversary. This is my deep wish. Please, Guardian Tail. 
And this is it for today. If you like the video, please destroy that like button. You can share it with your friend too. And if you're new to the channel, please help us to reach our goal at the end of the summer, 2,000 subscribers. It will be very encouraging so you can hit that bell and turning on your notification. As usual, I wish you all to be safe, to be well, and until the next, stay tuned.